Welcome back to another episode of Ask the Techies. I'm D. Lee Beard, answering more of your viewer questions. This one comes from Jamie. Jamie says, a tech friend of mine partitioned my drive years ago and left only 10 gigs of space in the main drive. I have been having many disk space issues and I'm now trying to repartition my drive or get it back with one big block of space. What can I do? Well, uh, Jamie, one of the things you can do is in Disk Utility, and I'll show you where that is. You can always do a spotlight search on Macs, and you can actually type in what you're looking for, but I'll show you where it's located. If you go into your hard drive and go to Applications, and you scroll all the way down to Utilities folder, right there, you open that up, you'll find an application in there called Disk Utility, and you open that up, and in there, you can adjust your hard drive settings. So you click on a, a drive that you want, and here's the two partitions that we have. We have one that is for Mac, and the other one that is actually for boot camp. Um, so uh, you can go over to the main drive, and you see the partition tab. Now, if you click over here, you won't see it because you know it's not really partitioning the way you want, but because that is a partition, you can't do that. So there's a, you click on partition, and then you see your choices. Now, you can uh, check the drive and you can change this setting and you can do things to it to, to adjust how big you want it to be. You can do a few changes there. Uh, click on plus to add a partition and basically it's going to create a second partition for you and then you can just click on this and scale this down or you can come in here and click ex and type in exactly how big you want that drive to be. So if they made this one too small and you need more space, then you can just kind of click on this and say delete that partition, make sure there's no files on it that you want um, or at least hope that they're backed up. In fact, everything should be backed up frequently anyway. If you don't have an external hard drive to back up your data files, you might want to invest in one because it's not a matter of if you're going to lose your data, it's just a matter of when something's going to go wrong and you're going to lose your data. Now, one caveat to all of this is, let me delete that, pull this back down, is this one right here, you notice the plus button is grayed out. Uh, it's really difficult. You can't really change the setting on this drive without risking uh, deleting your Windows partition. If you try to resize the Windows partition, uh, it might freak out and then Windows won't work. You can do it, but you'll have to reinstall Windows and all the applications that you put into Windows in order for that to happen. So once you set up the Windows partition, you want to make sure it's the right size, otherwise you're going to be sorry. And so for instance, in this case, we have 150 gigabytes, plenty of storage space in there. But it might be too much, depending on what all I'm going to be doing with Windows. Considering most of my multimedia files are going to be on the Mac side, I certainly want to make sure it's the bigger drive. And in this case, it's 300 gigabytes, which is quite a bit. Um, so that works pretty well because it is such a large drive. Um, but anyway, that's how you can try to play around with those. Now, if you do have an older version of the Mac OS, you may find that Disk Utility won't allow you to resize the partitions. You'll need to upgrade to the newest version of the Mac OS. Uh, actually, I'm recording this in August of 2009, just in case you're watching this and it's much, much later, so you know what the recent version is. Um, the other thing is that if you can't upgrade to the newest version because the, you know, it's going to cost you money, is you may just want to back up your files, erase everything, and do a fresh reinstall. Now, one of the ways you can do a fresh reinstall possibly is using um, some disk image uh, software. Uh, my brain, I wasn't thinking about mentioning this, um, but there, there's Mike Bombich makes some software that you can use. It's free for you to be able to create an image of your hard drive. Then you can wipe it hard drive and then reinstall it. And so that can be helpful to you. All right. So hopefully that answers your question. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.